Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing all the stuff I bought in sort of late July, early August. Um, normally I sort of go into depth on like the stuff I've bought, but I tried to film this video several times and something, I always get interrupted, so I'm just going to go through them quite quickly <laughs> for a change. So um, I didn't b plan to buy as many as this, but there was a lot of stuff that was on offer recently, so I just sort of Things that were on my wish list, so I just sort of picked them up. But, uh, so we have uh, Bad Date Black Rock uh, premium collection. A uh, really good film. Spencer Tracy plays a one armed World War II veteran who goes to a small desert town looking for a Japanese farmer who's disappeared. It's kind of like a cross between a western and film noir. It's, it's, uh, it's really good. I highly recommend it. Um,. <laughs> Next we have uh, Bagpuss, a sort of beloved part of my uh, childhood, Bagpuss, the complete series. Um, I had a video of, those of you probably of a certain age here in the UK will probably remember, they used to have like VHSs that were like compilations of like old, like episodes of old kids TV shows and I had one that had an episode of this and I used to love watching it so um, <laughs> I was sort of in the mood to revisit it so I picked this up, it was quite cheap so... It has all 13 episodes, all on one disc, but they're very short episodes, so there's no problems with compression or anything. Uh, Gaslight, this is the 1944 remake with Ingrid Bergman. Also has the, um, I believe it also has the original, is a special feature. Yeah, original 1940 British version. So... Yeah, I've seen this version, I haven't seen the original, so it'll be interesting to compare them, now that I have both. Um, the original is only a standard def version, but there is a Blu-ray of it, released by the BFI, so if I like it, I will probably pick up the Blu-ray of that too, at some point. Um, really good thriller, that. That's where the term gaslighting comes from, the title of that film. So, <laughs> yeah, you can probably guess what the plot is based on that. <laughs> Uh, next we have the 4K, the BFI's new 4K, did you see it, 4K release of Get Carter, this is the big, the one I was looking forward to, um, so it's limited edition, comes in like a hard box, uh, obviously you get the 4K and the special features Blu-ray, poster and booklet, yeah, love Get Carter, great, one of the best British films ever made. <laughs> Um, really great film, and the video transfer looks really good. Um, it's not like the cleanest or the, the you know, the, the brightest image, but it, for a film shot in like 1971 on the film stock it was shot on, with the visual aesthetic it has, it looks very, very good. They also released a standard Blu-ray version of that, so if you don't have a 4K player but you want the new transfer, you can pick it up. Um, although, um... The, uh, the previous Blu-ray by Warner Brothers also looked very good, but uh, BFI one looks quite a bit better, I think. Uh, I, Claudius, this is a drama series, BBC drama series from, I think, the 70s, uh, about the Emperor Claudius. It's meant to be one of the best drama series ever made in the UK. Um, I haven't seen it. I've heard very good things about it. I'm looking forward to finally sitting down and watching it at some point. Um, actually, the uh, arrow HMV have had like an arrow sale, so I picked up a few arrows. We have the 1978 Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I'll just show you. That's the uh, reverse cover. That's the cover it came with, but I sort of flipped it over to the. I usually like to flip it over to the side with the original poster artwork. Yeah, love this film. Actually, uh, I didn't have it on my wall at the moment because we're going to paint the walls, but I have an original uh, b uh, poster of this from Belgium somewhere so yeah great film one of the best remakes ever made jailhouse rock elvis i was in the mood to watch some an elvis film because the new biopic which i haven't seen yet but i have but the new biopic came out and i was kind of in the mood to watch a elvis film and uh, this is one of the better ones um, most of them are pretty rubbish but this one's actually quite good uh <laughs> plays like a guy who he accidentally kills someone in a bar fight and he gets sent to jail and then he learns sort of how to sing from his cellmate and then he after he gets out he tries to launch a career as a singer uh 
it's a pretty cliche, but you know, it's worth watching. Uh, just for you know, um, <clears throat> Elvis really. Um, Judgment Night, another premium collection. Um, haven't seen this. The story sounded interesting. So Emilio Estevez and his mates, uh, they're on their way to I think a boxing match, some sort of sporting event, and they get lost and they end up seeing Dennis. Um, what's his name? Dennis Leary. Whack. A, he's like a mob. Person, like, like some sort of killer, he whacks a guy and then they have to go on the run and try and, you know, because uh, Dennis Leary's uh, you know, looking for them so they don't squeal. Um, yep, yeah, sounded quite interesting. So, and uh, these uh, premium collection titles tend to have quite good um, uh, video transfers too, so it should look very nice. Uh, we have the Criterion version of Kagamusha. Um, there's a Jap again at HMV. There's a Japanese sale on Japanese film titles, so this is normally seventeen ninety nine. It was thirteen ninety nine. So, yeah, blind buy. But you know, I like Kurosawa, and you never see Criterion's that cheap. So, I thought it was worth a blind buy. Uh, the kids are all right. This is a not the film about the lesbians. This is a documentary about the Who, the sixties, seventies rock group. Well, they're still going too. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, this was um, it's a really good documentary. Just the standard Wonders version. I had to pick this up second hand because it's not in print anymore. But um, there was a two disc DVD, uh, which is a bit harder to get. Um, and there's a Blu-ray, which is like, the Blu-ray is like stupidly expensive, so I just picked up the DVD and I picked up the one disc one because it's the easiest to get hold of for not very much money. Um, yeah, really good documentary. Um, features uh, this, the concert, it's Shepton Studios, which was specifically filmed for this film, uh, was the last show they had that, that um, Keith Moon, the original drummer, performed with them because he died not long after like uh, after they did that concert, so yeah, but it's a really good documentary if you haven't seen it. Um, if you like sort of rock documentaries, I highly recommend it. It's got some really good performances. It's also very funny um, too. Le Mans sixty six. Um, it's a true story of, based on the true story of Ford versus Ferrari. But the original title of the film is Ford versus Ferrari. But here in the UK, they had to rename it Le Mans 66 because apparently you cannot release a film in the UK with brand names in the title. Because it, technically it's like a type of product placement or something, so it's not allowed. So the, even though that's a better title, uh, <laughs> they had to rename it to that. It's the same film, though. Uh, yeah, really good film if you haven't seen it. Um, I'm not a particular like, racing or car person, but I still really enjoyed this. <laughs> When I rented it, uh, I think I rented it during lockdown, and I really enjoyed it. And it was on uh, a lot of Disney pro uh, titles were on offer in HMV, so I only paid like eleven ninety nine for it or something. So yeah, really good film. Next we have the German release of The Lover, which is a French film uh, starring um, Jane Marchet. She, um, I think, she's a French girl, and she. French teenager and she starts a relationship with this uh, Chinese gentleman. Is he Chinese or is um I, I think I'm not, I haven't seen it. Um, yeah, this is the German 4K. Comes in this nice sort of digi pack. The writing is all in German, so which is uh, oh, it's Vietnam, is it? I don't know. Um, so can't actually read it, but uh, never mind. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I bought the for German version because it's not available on home video here in the UK and um, it's available in the US and Germany and I just picked up the German one because it was a few quid cheaper. So, yeah, and it was a good film and it's apparently it's really beautiful looking. Elliot Kern, who does like a YouTube channel about like Blu-rays and stuff, he reviewed this and he said it was a really good looking disc. So I'm looking forward to uh, watching it myself. Next, I have some Lupin the Third. We have uh, the woman called Fujiko Mine, uh, Part Four. I already have Part Four, but I have the the English dub. This is the Japanese language release. Basically, the English dub and the Japanese version they use different masters, so they can't just have the audio 
like you know as separate options on the same disc so a couple of them fell off so um they had to release them separately and i already had the english dub now i have the japanese version because you know i like the option to watch um you know dubbed us up depending on what mood i'm in and uh, we also have the first I actually got this in the amazon day sale it's the only thing i bought in the amazon day sale um Yep, yeah, really like Lupin the Third, basically sort of a Japanese anime about this the gentleman thief. Um next we have Mary Poppins. The uh game was on offer in HMV, like Disney titles were. And uh, yeah, it's a really good film. I haven't seen the sequel though. Um if any of you have seen what was it, Mary Poppins Returns? <laughs> Mary Poppins Strikes Back, something like that. Um <laughs> Um, if any of you have seen the sequel, let me know how it was, because uh, I, I really like this one, but I haven't seen that yet. Poltergeist 2. Um, so the first Poltergeist is, it's the 40th anniversary of that, uh, so it's coming out on 4K this year. And I saw this in HMV and I thought, you know, I haven't seen the the the, the, um, the, the sequels, and I heard the second one was actually quite good. Um, some people said it was quite good. Um, it's not. It's not very good at all. Um, so I'm probably going to sell this because I didn't really like it. But uh, yeah. I'm not going to bother watching Poltergeist 3 because everyone says that's terrible. So um, I do like the first one though. Uh, quite a bit. A uh, Reefy Fee, another Arrow title. There's the inside artwork. Yes, yeah, French crime film. If you haven't seen it, it's very good. Um... Romano Prince of Thieves, big guilty pleasure of mine. This is the Arrow version, which is um, just sort of a bare bones. Basically, Warner Brothers had the uh, distribution rights to this, and then they lost them, and now Arrow had them, but they sort of put out this uh, bare bones release. It is the uh, extended cut, so you do get the extra bits with Alan Rickman, which is cool. But uh, yeah, I'm just glad to have it in HD. And uh, also, this is the uncut 12-rated version, because in this country, it was cut for many years to get a PG, and I've only ever seen the cut version, so <laughs> be interesting to actually watch the full, you know, violence, the extra violence. Um, Shop Around the Corner, James Stewart and um, Margaret Sullivan, um, they, uh, they work in a shop together, but they don't like each other, but then they have these, unbeknownst to each other, they're also... They write letters to each other anonymously, like pen pals, and they end up falling in love with their pen pals, not realising that it's the person at work they can't stand. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it was remade as that, what's that, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan film, You've Got Mail, it's basically that, but with letters instead of emails. Uh, this one's meant to be much better, though. Uh, but it's blind by, but I've heard it's like a classic. Uh, Thief, Michael Mann. Uh, there's the other cover. Uh, yeah, I picked this up because, again, it was in the Arrow sale, and James Caan just died, and this is meant to be one of his best films, so, you know, after he passed away, I thought, you know, I really should watch that. And, uh, yeah, I like Michael Mann stuff generally, like, Manhunt is like, one of my favourite films, uh, so, looking forward to seeing that. Zombie Flesh Eaters, <laughs> aka Zombie 2, aka just plain zombie, Lucio Fulci, I'm not a big fan of uh, Lucio Fulci's films, to be honest. Uh, most of them are pretty rubbish, but I do like this one. This one's a bit of a guilty pleasure. I also like The Beyond. That I think The Beyond is genuinely good, and this one's kind of a guilty pleasure, but otherwise I'm not a fan of his films. I think they're just trash, but um, yeah, I do like this one. Sort of an unofficial sequel to uh, uh, Dawn of the Dead, kind of. <laughs> um, basically, Dawn of the Dead was called Zombie in Italy, and then this was called Zombie 2 to try and trick people into thinking it was a sequel, but here over here in the UK it's called Zombie Flesh Shears. It's got nothing to do with Dawn of the Dead. But yeah, it's a quite a fun zombie film. There's a scene where a zombie fights a shark in this. Which has to be seen to be believed. You can see the clip on YouTube. It's amazing. And then last but not least we have Whisper of the Heart. This is the Studio Ghibli. These are Amazon have they started releasing these digi packs, like Amazon exclusive digi packs of the Ghibli films and uh I'm starting to collect them. Well, the ones I don't already have, like I already have some of the Ghibli films in the standard keep cases, and I'm not going to... And a couple of them on Steelbook, and I'm not going to replace those just for the packaging, but the ones I don't have, I'm going to pick them up like this because these are quite nice. Um, 
I haven't seen this. I've seen the sequel, which is The Cat Returns, and I really, really like that film. So, and um, I don't know if it's a sequel, but basically, I know that the um, this is the cat was also in The Cat Returns, but I don't know if there's any connection to it otherwise. But yeah, I thought oh, I should watch the the first one, and I, I've heard it's very good too. So I <laughs> can't do it one-handed, but yeah. Um, yeah, looking forward to actually watching it now. And um, yeah, so that's the end of the video, and I'll see you all next time.